See all the little houses on all the little steps. Let's see if I can see my house from here. Uh, you can't see the lifts, which is really my only point of reference. And why can't I go down? Down, and two diamonds, I think. Nominates the Senate envoys, and the party heads to Diamant, yes. I don't need to save. Wow, doesn't that just look grand? Glowing orange treasure chest looking thing. Fountain Square. Cutscene. Did you hear about Lord Mahat passing away? I did, I did. Whoa, wait a minute. Well, what do you want? Did the Emperor really pass away? It, yes, it hasn't been formally announced, but that's the rumor. This is a very odd-looking person. Maybe the Prince had him killed for opposing war with the Republic. Shh. You'll be put to death for treason if the military hears that. What if he really was assassinated? If that theory proves true, we're in for a long, long war. Perhaps, then again, perhaps his death is just what we need to end it. Either way, without any official orders, there's only one thing for us to do right now. Right, let's get to the castle and deliver this letter. We might be able to find out what's going on there. Yeah. Boy, if that rumor about Vice killing him is true, things are gonna get pretty hairy. Or should we say, pretty scaly. That was a horrible pun. <laughs> oh, I feel ashamed. Items. Need to restock on items first. Oh, they only have heal liquids and revive bottles. No mids. Oh, this is this is the horrible place to restock. Oh man. I could run out of mids, that'd be horrible. Simply horrible. I don't think we've picked up anything more for the uh, side quests, so I'm not even going to bother. And we'll go straight to the castle. Not checking on the school, not checking on Lark's mother. Straight to the point, straight to the castle. Doesn't this place look nice? You know, some, some, something has piqued my curiosity. Is stained glass more, more or less structurally uh, integral than regular glass of such a time period of the medieval? Hey, you're Lark Bright Lagoon. I'm escorting a messenger from the head senator in Termilia. What? What should we do? J just wait right there. Don't move. Ah, it's you. I wondered what all the ruckus was about. My name is Leslie Ferrati. I am here on behalf of the head senator. May I please see the emperor? We want to stop the war between the Republic and the Empire. Please. 
What should we do, General? Apprehend them. Anyone who sides with the Republic is an enemy of the Empire. And she's her usual self. Hey! What are you doing? We're here with a message of peace! And thus we kill you! Guess the Empire's in no rush to end this thing, huh? If the Emperor was alive, they'd at least allow messengers inside. So you think the rumor's true? Oh, it is. General Freya. Before long, Prince Vice will take the throne, and any chance we had at a treaty will be gone. We might even be put to death. Get out! What are you doing? The Imperial Army is in a precarious situation. Sir Al's faction is colluding with the Republic to disrupt things from the inside. We can't expand the front. Besides, Sir Vice has no intention of talking with the Republic. So why did you let us go? Just remember that this is all I can do for you. If you get caught by any Watchmen, I can't do anything to save you. But if you can somehow convince Sir Vice, we may be able to use the Emperor's death to end this. So basically, you want us to do whatever we can to get to Sir Vice. Yes. If you go now, you should be able to find him in the throne hall. Okay. We owe you one. Oh. What is it? Where's Nico? I don't see him anywhere. He decided to leave us. What? Why would he do that? I don't know. I guess he just didn't want to cause us any more trouble. I'm sure he had his reasons. Haven't you... N no Anyway, we're short on time. Let's get this letter delivered. He's the one most worried about Nico, you know. I wish he'd be more honest about it. Ah, uh, he's just at that difficult age in his life. You're 12. Lark. You don't get to talk that way. So we go in it solid snake style. Oh dear god. That is not what I expected to find on the back of a weapons rack. Oh jeez. I want to actually do this Solid Snake style. I don't know why. They've escaped. Ah. Uh, well, now we're doing it Rambo style. Jeez, we got caught already. We're gonna fight them, right? Yeah, I don't think we have time for a diplomatic solution. So much for being messengers of peace, eh? Sorry. Well, this calls for... Ignis Beat. And attack only, I guess. Auto defense, that ain't good. Well, the one guy of auto defense survived. Longer. Let's go before more of them show up. Can't touch me. And there's no guards in here. Of course, this isn't the throne hall. Of course. There's little or no point to being in here. Ah. Do 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 dodge. <coughs> Love how all the armies are uh, have gender equality for the most part. 
Well, well. Puppet of Imaginal. Did you come here to die? No. I have a letter here from the head senator of the Republic that needs to be delivered to the Emperor. I don't believe I've met you. My name is Leslie Ferrati, and I am here on behalf of the head senator. I suppose you're here to request a ceasefire. Another one of your divine revelations, no? I have no intention of siding with real or imaginal. Though if my father was still alive, things would be different. He really did choose the perfect time to die. North Noirism has no relation to this request. The choice was made solely by the Senate. Unfortunately, I know that the Republic Senate is under the rule of North Noirism. Even if you weren't lying, you'd still have an insider reporting back to the North Noirists right now. We will not allow any intervention by either the North Noirists or Imaginum. How can you say that? Aren't you the child of Issa who chose Imaginal's law? Alf's a child of Issa too. Alf? He has traveled the world, singing the praises of Real's law. But I don't get it. Why are we forced to choose between two gods? I don't care. I'm not interested. Save it for someone who is. I live by my own rules. Your rules don't matter. If Alf presents Real's law to Isa, the world will be crystallized. So do you think you can save the world with Imaginal's law, then? I... don't know. I don't know which side is the right one. Maybe both of us are wrong. You don't know? Ha! <laughs> Makes sense. You being a mindless puppet works better for them. Give me that letter! Delivered offer of truce. I'll get back to you regarding the ceasefire. Come to my office tomorrow. Nice job, Lark. You think so? Well, yeah. Prince Bice accepted the letter, didn't he? Compared to almost being put to death, I suppose we're making some progress. Don't hold your breath. The way things are going, We'll probably be in a jail cell tomorrow. So what should we do until then? Let's go to Zamuel's school. They ought to have enough room for us. Strange how Vice didn't seem too broken up over his father's death. Huh. Yeah, you're right. Another friggin' trap. Just like the thing in Bennett Nash. Anyways, let's just head to Zamuel's school. Go out through the pillars because I'm a badass. Like that. Cecile, growth. I just knew it. I'm getting so big. I might not get as big as Reefia, but at least I want to... Beat you, Leslie. Well, have you grown bigger than me already? You think I'm not that big yet? Well, there's no problem as long as you accept that. She's right, I don't know anyone of a higher caliber than you, Rifia. What about Serge? He said he's a high-class guy. Yeah, right, he's got so little class, you can't even measure it. Tee, <laughs> you're probably right. Cecile, if you were... A big old empty bowl, what would you fill yourself up with? I don't like where this is going. Hmm, compassion, I think. Why is that? Well, being able to understand emotions of others as a true hero is all about. I know you'll become a beloved hero someday. Thanks, I'll definitely try my best. <sighs> a little tired. I'm recording this um, a lot earlier than I usually would. Due to um, timing and planning. Planning timing.
So let's just uh, go to the Zamuel School. <laughs>